If you want to excite your customers, also your shareholders, your team, for your plans, your product, your solution, what you've got to offer or where you want to go, value is the most important thing. And not value for you, but for them. Watch this video until the end and I explain you how you can get value across. Hi, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I am changing founders into leaders. If you like the contents of this video, feel free to give us a like and share the video with your community. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below and switch on the bell so that you are always informed about new contents in the future. Let's first of all look into a definition of value. What does it actually mean? Now, for example, Webster's definition of value is the quality that renders something desirable or valuable. Please note desirable to the person you're talking about and valuable to the person you're talking about. Another definition of value is actually the capability that you provide to a customer or to the person you're talking about. What do you enable your interlocutor, your partner to do that is also quite a standard and common definition of value? And Another definition is our capability that we provide to support customer success. So it's very much seen from our point of view. In general, that is what you can use as a definition of value. And in everything you do where you need the cooperation of your team, of your customers, of your stakeholders, make sure that you communicate the value that it has to them before you are actually asking for their When you're communicating value, three things are very important. Point number one, value must be measurable. So it must be proven by numbers and facts and figures. Let's call it like that. If you can actually say the value for you is that your time to market is going to re be reduced by 30%. Or if you can say that the value is that your cost base, the customer's cost base, for example, is going to be reduced by up to 30%, then that is a very, very strong argument because the value is measurable. Secondly, the value must be relevant. If, for example, it is very important to your customer to cut costs, then it is probably not so important to mention that the value of your solution or your product is to increase customer satisfaction because that is something that is not on your customer's agenda right now. So the value must be relevant to your customer's most important driving force to your customer's agenda. And number three, your value that you communicate must be credible. So it must be confirmed by your company or by references. It must be understandable in terms of numbers, in terms of facts and figures. Uh, as I said before, it must be credible. So three important things about value it must be measurable, it must be relevant and it must be credible. If you can get across the value of your solution to your customer, to your stakeholders, of your proposal to your team members, then you will have a much, much higher probability of these people following you. And that is very important for your growth and for the success of your enterprise. So always think in terms of value. The LIFE program actually teaches you all these concepts that are important for you as an entrepreneurial leader so that you can sell more, sell more profitably and run your company more successfully and by definition then have less sleepless nights within weeks. 
If you are interested in a private chat with me to talk about your current challenge and to see how you can solve this channel, please feel free to apply for a private session with me by clicking on the link underneath this video and we will have a chat together, a conversation and see how can we get your organization from where it is now, from A to where you want it to be maybe in one year or in six months from A to B. That is what I can promise you, that you go out of this conversation with a clear plan. It's not about selling you anything. If you decide to work with me afterwards, that's great. If not, we have had a great conversation and that's also absolutely fine with me. I'm Armin L. Rao, the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.